Hi everybody. I'm Farmer Bob here at the IHM Sisters Community Garden, St. Mary Organic Farm Community Garden. We're outside on a nice summer morning. I have my mask on, my COVID-19 mask on, but since we're going to be outside and keeping social distance, I'll take my mask off. If you're with other, around other people and out in the public, other than with your family at home, make sure you wear your mask. I've got my hat on now. Keep the sun out of, off of my head. Keeps my head from getting overly heated. And it's, it's a good idea if you're working in the garden to have a hat on. And sunscreen, sunscreen on any parts of your body that are exposed to the sun. So here's the big overview of our garden right here. You can see how, how big the garden is. We have a gardener working out there right now this morning. It's a community garden. Everybody has their own little plot. We have 30 people out here with 30 different gardens and they grow whatever they want on there. Cucumbers, beans, tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce, you name it. Anything that you like in the garden, people are growing. This is a patch of cucumbers. There's five rows of cucumbers here. Later on we'll put a stake on there and let the cucumbers grow up and we'll be able to pick cucumbers from the from the standing up instead of having to bend down. There's more different types of vegetables in here. There's some zucchinis. Here's somebody, we'll see the yellow flowers there. Those are cucumbers too. Somebody put up a really nice fence to let their cucumbers climb up. Tiny little cucumbers growing up. Here's some watermelons here and some beets. And back there is purple cabbage. One thing you should also be aware of that sometimes there's weeds. Well, not sometimes. There's always weeds that come into the garden. And you can see the weeds growing here. Here's basil. This is a type of basil too. These are beans, but all, this is all weeds here. The gardener is working to pull them out of there and then she's putting burlap bags, coffee bags, or black woven cloth to help keep the weeds from coming back. It's always a problem with, with the garden. Other people use straw. They weed the garden and they put straw over it and it helps to keep the uh, weeds from coming back. Some people like to plant flowers. These are marigolds. Those are zinnias. You can cut those and put them in a vase in the house. Some people just keep their garden hoed. The, every time they see weed coming up, they take it out with a hoe and they keep it nice and clean that way. That's another way to take care of weeds in the garden. Here's some stakes are and strings to help keep the tomato plants growing up into the air and off of the ground. That keeps the tomatoes from, from getting garden soil on it and that could cause rotting of its tomato. Here's a few green tomatoes starting to form right now. In another couple weeks they'll start to turn red and we'll be able to pick those. Here's some squash seeds. This is called butternut squash. I don't know if you ever had any squash soup. The grown-ups like squash soup a lot or baked butternut squash. These were saved from a squash last year. The squash itself has seeds inside and you can take those seeds and save them for planting next year. That's what we have here. So we take a we're going to plant a squash seed and follow it as it grows through the season. So the first thing we need to do is 
plant the seed. You can take a finger or a, any kind of a garden tool and make a hole in the soil, about three quarters to an inch, about up to your first knuckle. Put the seed in there and cover it up. And really press it down tight. You can use your hand or you can use your, use your foot to squash it down. That makes sure that the soil is nice and tight around the, tucked in around the soil. The seeds like to be in close contact with the soil so they all feel nice and cozy underneath the, underneath the garden soil. So here's our seeds that we planted. We'll come back a week later and see what they look like. It'll take about three or four days for those to sprout and uh, poke out of the soil. Here's a little baby squash plant that came up. You can see that there's two different kinds of leaves on there. These are called the cotyledons. These are the leaves that are alive inside the seed. The seed actually has leaves inside there. And then they'll, they'll grow like this. These are called the true leaves. And these are what will eventually become the squash plant here. This plant is about a week or two, a week to ten days old. Right, here we are a week later from the last time you saw the garden. The squash are really coming on strong now. This is day number 19 since the day it was planted. So 19 days ago we put the seed in the soil and then planted rows of these squash here. And you can see less than three weeks how far along they've come. By next week we'll, we may be seeing some flowers on there. These small original cotyledons, the leaves, they, are, they don't work anymore. They're just, they'll fall off in another day or two. And the main leaves are growing here on the plant. And they're the ones that are giving all the energy to the plant. And they call that photosynthesis. Look how much bigger it is this week. It's only seven days since the last time we were here. Plants are starting to grow together. Soon they'll start sending out vines and the whole garden area will be covered with them. But in the meanwhile we're making very nice growth with these. These are called butternut squash. I don't know if we talked about that earlier. They're what's called a winter squash. And we'll check it again in another week to see what progress we're making. Hi, we're here in the garden again. This is week number four in the squash squash. Remember, we're growing butternut squash. Well, since last week, some things have been happening with the plant. You can see here, there's some flower buds that are starting to grow on the plant. Those little flower buds will produce baby squash. These little wiggly things coming out, those are tendrils. It's going to start forming a vine and then those tendrils will wrap around uh, different things such as posts. If we had posts and fence up here, those tendrils will wrap and uh, help the plant climb up. We're just planting the plant on the flat ground on the soil, so the tendrils really don't do too much for us. This is probably a good time to show the different parts of the plant. The roots, of course, are underground. Here's the main stem. This is the petiole of the leaf, the little stem of the leaf. Here's the leaf blade, the regular part of the leaf, the upper part of the leaf, the lower part of the leaf. Tendrils, as we said earlier. And then the beginning of the flower buds. And these will actually form yellow flowers. And after those flowers are pollinated by bees, they'll start forming the fruit. That's where we are, are at at week four. If you take a look at the entire patch, you can see how much growth it's made since the last time we were here. Hello, we're here on the, in the garden, the last, the last week that we'll be filming, taking videos here of the garden. We're back in the same squash patch here, butternut squash. So this week we're seeing some of the squash plants starting to actually form squash. If you look 
here, here is the, here's an old flower that was pollinated. And look here, there's a little squash plant starting to grow. Here's a flower that's going to open soon. or it, it, it has already opened and been pollinated. And then is also growing a squash, a small squash there. These flowers will shrivel up and dry and fall off because they've done their work. They've, they've pollinated um, the plant and uh, are forming the squash. When pollination happens, it happens, it happens in two, two stages. One part of the pollen goes to pollinate the seeds. And the other pollinates the fleshy part, which is the squash part that we eat. So that's, uh, and that, that's what we're seeing here. Now, looking around in the squash patch here, I see in this direction over here, there's some little bit bigger squash. We'll take a look at that and see if we can see what they look like as they get older. Let me just part these leaves. Oh, look at here. Can you see this? Squash plant there, look at that. And look at the flowers come off. Look how much bigger it is. So these will be growing very quickly now until fall when we, when we finally harvest them. Um, so they're, uh, they're just starting, they're just on their way. And uh, we're happy to see that. There's going to be dozens and dozens of these in this, in this squash patch here. Hopefully we'll uh, have no problems between now and the time we harvest the squash.